what I'm hoping to be someday. Pero this afternoon on the show, kasama po natin Kimberly uh, Clayton Blaine. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. She is on, uh, has been for four years on the go to mom TV. She's a blogger. She's written books about mommyhood, and now she is coming out with a book about parenting. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's talk about separation anxiety. I was telling you earlier. I'm not yet a mom, but I have a very young niece. Last week, um, her parents decided to go on vacation in the East Coast, and she was left with my mom, her grandmom. And I could tell, like, I would visit. She would always be crying at night. The first two, three nights, she had a hard time coping. She was crying. She'd sleep at, like, 2 a.m. We didn't know what to do. And now that she's back with her parents, the parents are complaining that they can't put her down. She always needs to be carried and hugged, and she would smile less, not really very active. What is going on? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, all young children go through separation anxiety. It's very healthy. And in a child like your niece's age, who's two, is just learning that they're separate than their, than their mother and father. So it's scary mm -hmm. to be left with people that, that aren't their parents. So there's a lot of things we can do to help that. The first step is you want to have, be sure you have an attachment object, a blankie, a stuffed animal, so they always can hold that when you leave. A stuffed animal or a blankie is actually a substitute for a parent. Oh. So you should have a lot of them, a lot of blankies, a lot of animals. Okay. So one falls and gets dirty and you have to wash it, or if you lose one, they have lots of their lovies. Okay. okay? Well, before we proceed, so separation anxiety, it can't be uh, avoided. They feel that, but there's something we can do as parents to help them get through that. Is yes, that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So first is to have a blankie or have have uh, toy pets or toy yeah, dolls. attachment objects. Okay. Yes, okay. that they value, that they sleep with, and that they take with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then another step could be it says practice makes perfect. Right. What does that practice mean? leaving. So if you leave, if you're with your child and then all of a sudden you take a vacation, they're not used to your absence. They're right. not used to leaving, so it's scary, and, and they're just developing their sense of self. Mm -hmm. So you don't. Want to leave for too long when you start to leave you do short breaks you say oh I'm gonna go cook dinner stay in your room I'll be back oh, and then you go okay. cook okay. or I'm going next door stay with daddy or Mimi yeah. and then go next door and come back in 15 minutes go I'm back or, oh, or you know and then uh, stretch the time stretch it out oh okay. mommy's going to the market right. I'll be back in an hour and so they, they associate you leaving and coming back with happiness that's what's pro that's what probably happened to my niece because all of a sudden they were together and then all of a sudden my my, <laughs> my brother and his wife goes off for a week I know I yeah know. so she and, and now that she's she's back and she's like that what what can we do to is that still part of separation anxiety? Yes, well, we always want to prepare our children. And so another one of my steps is whoever is watching your children while you're gone, they need to spend a lot of time with them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So they need to spend a couple of days to get to know them better. Mm -hmm. Or when they are coming, to, like if you're going out to dinner, have them come really early so mm -hmm. that they play and they're hanging out with your child for a long time so that when you leave, your child says, oh, bye, Mommy, Daddy. Oh, this is when yes. you ask the sitter to come in early. Very Whoever's going to take it. Yeah. Or to yeah. come on a regular basis. Don't okay. just like go out once a month. Right. Have that sitter come as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can have your sitter come when you're home if you can afford it. So they just play with your child while you're there. Right. So they bond with that person. And while you're there. So yeah. the, the child thinks that it's safe yes. and, you know, mommy knows this first and right. or blah, blah. Another step is leave on a happy note, which is quite difficult because I know, um, <laughs> even though I don't have kids, I know and I hear that when you start leaving, it's always a struggle because kids always cry and it's gut-wrenching for parents to hear your mm -hmm. kids crying and right. suffering like that when you leave how do you leave on a happy note right well this is the hardest part because we all hate leaving our crying little ones it to you know pulls on our heartstrings right. but you know my book the go-to mom's guide to emotion coaching this is where we deal with their emotions they're crying so we're comforting them and we're holding them but then when, they're, when there's an opportunity, we acknowledge that. We say, it's very hard when mommy leaves. It's hard for you when daddy leaves. So you're accepting their sadness. So they feel, wow, you know how hard it is. So talking to them. Yes. Talk, even though they're that young. They, they, they understand. Babies understand language at one. Mm. Okay. You have to tell them you understand how hard it is. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, and then, but you, you have to be strong in your convictions. You have to believe your leaving is good. Right. So you have to say, I need to go. I'm going to work today, or I have a meeting. I have to, you know, I have to see a teacher, and I will be back. And then hug them, pass them on to the sitter or to grandma, Even and then while leave. they're still crying. No matter what. Okay. But acknowledge 
comfort them, uh -huh. and then, then be, say, I will be back. Right. I always come back. Which connects to your last step, which is ditch the guilt. Because, you know, I, I'm sure parents would feel guilty leaving their kids crying, yes. right? No one wants to leave a crying preschool at preschool. That's the hardest thing, is yeah. leaving them there all day. Yes. Yes, yes. it's yes. really, so really hard. How do you hard. ditch the guilt? Well, you ha well, I think you have to realize, you know, we're all people, and then we're parents, is that we want to teach our kids to be independent. Mm -hmm. So we have to be independent, too, and teach them independence is good. So we can't feel guilty every time we leave. We have to feel really good about that decision because you know what? Our children read our emotions. They'll mm -hmm. see if we're anxious, they're anxious. If we're proud that we need to have space and go do something, right. then they're going to know that, that coming and going is a good thing. Okay, and I yes. know that these are only some of the things that you will learn when you go get the book, uh, Kimberly's book, the go-to mom's parents guide to emotion coaching your children. What else is there? What else can we learn from the book? There is so much you can learn from the book. How to deal with tantrums, how to deal with whining, how to deal with kids who won't sleep, how to get your kids to eat better, um, how to really understand the emotions of your kids. Because when you get so angry, sometimes we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. This book will tell you how to do it and how to feel good about it. You know, they say, you know, parenting comes to you in the Filipino community. You know, they say you can't learn parenting, but I guess with this book, now you can learn tips yes. on how to be successful with parenting. Thank yes. you so much. Where is this available at? It's available at all major bookstores and on Amazon.com. All right. Good thing. And that's the website on the screen if you want to get more information as well. More power to you. We hope to have you back. Let's talk about other topics. Great. All right. Thanks. We will be back more in Cabo by in LA. Then go away. Kababai in LA, a hati sa inyo ng McDonald's. Ano mga bagong McCafe espresso drinks? McDonald's na bang ba yung bagong coffee house? Ang mga bagong McCafe espresso drinks ay mabilis, masarap at mas mura pa. Kahit saan, kahit kailan.